Another characteristic of Yao San is it is seasonal, regional and personal. It is believed that in different seasons with changing weather, individual body would react differently. Thus, one should eat different types of foods to help maintain the bodily balance and to avoid becoming ill. So thus, a winter banquet usually consists of warming and nourishing dishes such as crab and duck longevity soup. On the day of winter solstice, lamb pot, um, either slowly boiled or breathed, is eaten in most part of China, whereas in, north of China, in the north, people also would opt for dog meat stew that will put you off. Traditionally, it is believed that eating lamb and dog meat can help to nourish the blood, stimulate the blood circulation, and replenish the young qi to sustain the winter. Whereas in the summer, food with cooling properties such as cold dressed eel, bitter or winter gourd are the most popular. And for the spring, there are, fish, there are fresh fish and shellfishes from local rivers and lakes, as well as delicious young sweet peas and wild mushrooms to be enjoyed. All the pungent vegetables such as chives, leeks or garlic shoots are also said to be suitable for the spring for their help to open up the channel of qi. And for the autumn, dishes such as soft shell turtle soup and pigeon eggs are often offered in to, to invigorate the young qi, thus to enhance sexual activities. People also eat a great deal of Chinese pear, radish, silver ear fungus to reduce excess dryness inside the body. In southern China, slake soup is often consumed in cold and damp weather for its warming property. It is a traditional remedy for rheumatism. However, it is never drunk in the warm, dry weather or by a person who possesses too much heat inside the body. For snake soup induces excess heat in the body and can lead to severe nose bleeding or in rare situations can even cause death. Strictly speaking, yao san should be cooked or processed according to prescriptions, especially as some yao san uses very potent herbs, like this one in Chinese, which is called wutou. Um, I'm unable to pronounce the Latin name. Um, but this is not always the case. In China, here, um, you know, there are often reports of people being poisoned by Yao San, either by overdose. I mean, in 2008, uh, in Yunnan, there was a um, um, case of a large number of people being poisoned because they've eaten t uh, Yao San with, with too much of Wuto being added in. Um, the other um, you know, cause of people being poisoned by Yao San was um, they consumed two types of different medicines which are conflicts with each other. Um, for instance, pig's liver should not be eaten with fish. Consuming both in the same time could upset the body balance and causing skin problems like boils. Um, the other problem with poison is um, people quite often um, consume the medicine which is fake. Fake stuff in China is um, you know, commonplace and you, can, you encounter that all the time. You have to be really careful what you buy. So like food, majority of yao san dishes are cooked either by slow boiling, steaming, braising, marinating, or lung cooking, or by stir frying, or quick frying, or deep frying. Besides um, a rising number of yao san restaurants, there are also endless recipe books teaching people how to prepare yao san at home. An increasing number of processed yao san items can be purchased over counter, either in herbal med medicine shops or in dessert stores, even at airports. So here, here are just some examples. You can see what you can just buy over the counters and just take it home. It's already ready made. Um, uh, I've also got one um, for you to sample later over the lunch. So the processed yao san can be roughly divided into three types, liquids, gruels, or jelly. You've had some jelly yesterday. Um, 
and the solids. Liquids vary from fresh juice to tonics, tea and soups. Jellies normally can um, um, come um, packaged and can be eaten directly or heat up at home. Gruels are often sold dry and come in the form of brown powder and they need to be constituted by adding hot water or by boiling. The solids include all kinds of candies, cakes or biscuits, so the choice is infinite. Like medicine and other health products, Yao San is a big business in China now. In a country where there's no adequate health care for the majority population, people have to take health into their own hands. So they exercise, they stock up on medicine pills, and they consume Yao San to try to keep themselves healthy. Besides a health product, Yao San is often sold as a cultural product. Most Yao San restaurants books and um, websites claim it is uniquely Chinese and try to date it back always to the first century AD and according to them Yao San is rooted in the Asian culture of Yang Sen and it embraces the theories of Yin Yang and the Five Faces and all of them would refer to Yellow Empress in the Canon as a Bible and quote a famous 7th century physician Sun Simiao but ironically, in China, the earliest systematic dietetic to combine knowledge of medical properties of foods and recipes from, for food preparation were actually written for the Mongol emperor of Yuan and include many recipes from Central Asia, um, such as wolf soup. So, you know, <laughs> it's nothing really very Chinese about it. Also, if one examines modern Yao San carefully, one finds it is quite distinct from ancient Yang San practice. So modern Yao San puts great emphasis on food as a pathogen rather than food as a superior medicine. It stresses that food illness enters from the mouth. This is rather contrary to Sun Smell's idea that um, a good doctor first makes a diagnosis and having found out the causes of disease, he tries to cure it first by food. When food fails, um, he then prescribes medicine. So, but this um, phrase, illness enters from mouth, although it's an ancient Chinese saying, it is now reinterpreted in accordance to modern Western epidemiology. It sees illness as caused by external factors such as unhealthy and excess eating, stress, lack of hygiene and pollution rather than as a result of bodily imbalance. Thus, modern Yao San preaches therapeutic interventions through medical substance and the good hygiene standard. And take a w one example is after SARS in 2003, um, Wu San Gong, that was the first Yao San restaurant in China, um, in Chengdu, actually introduced one, one person individual hot pot instead of you know the big hot pot where everybody dips their chopsticks into one pot and this way that people eat from their own individual pot. It's supposed to be more hygiene, so it's better for you. While well, continue to serve imperial um, style Yao San and Deer Banquet, since late 1990s, um, Yao San restaurants such as Yu San Gong also launched a number of modern style dishes to attract young generation. One of them is tomato soup made with the roots of scented Solomon seal and rose petal. It is sold as a food to help women to lose weight and to keep their skin look beautiful. <laughs> 